Hey guys, Andy here from Mediocre Hobbies bringing you another painting tutorial. This one is once again in the Legion playlist. This time we are going to be knocking out those sneaky boys, the Raven Guard. It's a tricky enough scheme as it's black on black on black. It's like trying to figure out how you paint Batman. Um, but uh, I think by the end of this video you should be in a better place uh, to tackle this army scheme. So sit back and enjoy the video. Okay guys, it's time for the Raven Guard. So like the majority of the uh, videos in this playlist, we started by spraying the miniature black and then giving it a great sear um, zenithal spray. We then moved over to the black Templar contrast paint and we're going to apply this all over the armor panels. Like I said in my Iron Hands video, it's very important to me that all the different legions that have the black armored scheme are all very different and very distinct. I want you to be able to put the three miniatures next to each other on a table without any markings on them to know which legion they're from and to be immediately able to tell who they belong to. I feel like that is something that is achievable. So I'm gonna tr try and do that here with Raven Guard. So this is it with the Black Templar applied to the power armor. Next going over to a bit of lead belcher. I'm gonna fill in all of the trim details on the miniature as well as parts of the bolt gun. So the uh, reference material and art and stuff I looked up for the Raven Guard suggests that all of the armor trim and stuff is a really, really dark silver. Once again, it's that whole idea of these guys being kind of infiltration specialists, sneaky, that kind of thing, that they would have very few reflective surfaces on their armor. So you'll notice with things like Iron Hands um, and some of the uh, Dark Angels videos that I will do, they will start with like a more metallic sheen to it before you apply contrast, whereas these guys have gone for the flat gray sear. That's because, like I said, their armor shouldn't be reflective. They should be a little bit sneakier. So once the lead belcher is applied, we're gonna quickly move on and at this stage, shade the entire miniature. So for this, we're gonna go into the Nolan Oil and we're gonna apply a nice coat of this across the entire miniature and that will really set the armor apart. It looks absolutely fantastic after this. When I had started this um, particular miniature in my head, I had a process that I was going to follow. And it's, I, originally I was planning on layering up the armor after the wash stage with something like Corvus Black. But with how beautiful this thing dries, I decided to just leave it. I was actually really happy with the armor color afterwards. Um, and I just started working on all the other details like the silver and eye glow and the bulk and casing and stuff like that. So let me know when you see it at the end whether you think that the, uh, the black armor hits the mark or whether you yourself would have layered it up afterwards. So while that's all drying, I'm going to base the miniature. Okay guys, well while I'm waiting for that shade to dry, we're going to get the miniature based up. But I just want to say thank you guys for the continued support. If you're enjoying this video, make sure you hit the uh, like button down below. If you have any questions about anything we have done so far in this video or in any other part of the Legion playlist or any other playlist for that matter, make sure you drop it in the comments below and I will get back to each and every one of you guys. If you're enjoying this content a lot and want to see it progress even further, help me out, help the channel out. There's links to things like my Patreon below. Thank you guys so much. And Back to the video. Okay, with the miniature base and all of the shade dry, this is how the black power armor looks. I am going to be adding a little bit of edge detail to it in a couple minutes with a nice dry brush. But as the actual black stands, I really, really like it. I think it definitely fits that kind of coming from the shadows look of power armor. Well, first, we're going to hit the uh, metallic bits once again with lead belcher, just tidying them up a bit, making them a little bit brighter and stand out leaving all of that known oil and all the uh, nooks and crannies and shaded parts, but just basically giving the uh, metallic bits just a nice layer job. Nothing too fancy whatsoever. After this, I am going to layer up the bolt gun casings. And for this, that's where I'm gonna go for the Corvus Black. So you'll see an example of what I was planning on doing with this armor versus how I left the armor. Um, here in a second Like I said, it's totally up to you at that stage If you decide moving from here That you would rather layer up the entire suit of power armor with the Corvus black you can of course do that You will get an example of what that looks like here when I apply it to the bulk of the casing As you can see it's just a slightly gray tinted black Absolutely stunning color and there'd be absolutely nothing wrong with if you decided to layer up the armor but as you can see on his legs and his arms and face and stuff like that, that I think that the black that's left behind uh, works really well. 
But like I said, let me know in the comments. Do you, would you have layered up the armor with Corvus Black or would you left it as is like I did? The difference in time between the two things would be one of the biggest factors. If you want to paint up a Legion army, not having to layer up the power armor just to kind of a contrast and a wash is going to save you so much time. The next thing we're going to do is just add a tiny bit of extra detail to that armor. I'm going to give the entire miniature now a very light dry brush of lead belcher. I just want to catch all the edges with silver, acting like a almost like an edge highlight, kind of scuff marks and chip damage and stuff like that, but nothing too crazy. It will be so subtle, it will be hard for you guys to, uh, to pick out. You can see across the backpack and on the back of the legs, it just adds that tiny bit of extra detail. Next, we're gonna put some Blood Angels contrast in the eye sockets. When we were at the lead belcher stage, we painted in the eye sockets with the lead belcher as well. So when we came to this stage, all we need to do is drop a contrast into those to have beautifully painted eye lenses. You can choose whatever eye lens color you want, red, blue, green, whatever you want. But uh, going by the 30K artwork I found, they seem to have red eye lenses. After that, I just simply added some transfers and called this Raven Guard Legion Air complete. This was by far the fastest scheme I have done so far for the Legion playlist. I think it looks fantastic. I would be more than happy to field a Raven Guard army to this standard. Let me know if you agree with me. Or like I said, you would take the uh, power armor a little bit further. Thank you guys so much for watching the video. I do hope you enjoyed it. And I will catch you in the next one.